How's it going? So I found some quarry cat eggs and hatched them out and went through the process to show you guys what I do with them. So let's do this. This is always great to see and fun to see. My quarry doors have laid eggs all over in this big rainbow tank with these guys. These are the red Venezuelanius. Pretty cool. And yeah, I know, I gotta clean this. Obviously, they don't care. So looking at these eggs, you can tell these have already been kind of smashed and definitely are infertile. But these up here are still good. And when it comes to removing these eggs, I just use a scraper and scrape them off very gently. And just like that, we got some cord cut eggs. They are pretty sticky. They are all over my fingers. Really hard to get off. So I ended up getting all these eggs from them so far. In the area I just cleaned off, they already have eggs there. So I'm going to leave them alone because I think they're still doing their thing. These rainbows though. Looks like we're at 263 TDS. No, not the best lighting, but. So that's a little over neutral. And looks like we're at probably about 76 degrees, between 74 and 76. Super pristine, clear, clean water. Just kidding, it's all dirty water. Biologically sound water, but they love it. All right, now for the hard part to find tank space for them. Yeah, I got a few to choose from, but. All these have stuff in them. Hmm. Oh. Actually, I could try a few in my cold tank down here. This is a... This is a cold shrimp tank. We'll see if they'll eat the eggs or not. Bunch of pearlweed in here. Ton of pearlweed. As well as huteroi crip. Really neat crip. Fair crip. But look at the bowl lighted leaves. Gets that dimpling, really cool. So we'll see, you guys will have to stay updated for that. Left some up in this pearl weed as well, that way I can keep an eye on them. This 10 gallon also has some shrimp in it, but not many. So let's add some in there. And they are sticky to the cup, which I'll just have to brush off gently. I did put them up front, that way I can watch them. Uh oh, it's coming for it. Put your eggs all in one basket. I'm not gonna put them all in one tank either. And I got a free tank up there as well. All right, so look at this. There's a little shag algae carpet wall going on here. Actually has eggs in it too. A lot of the stuff growing around this is actually BBA algae, which I'll show you guys how I take care of all this. And we're gonna clean this tank up at some point. Maybe not in this video, but at some point. Kind of cool though, really. Especially when it starts getting crusty like this. This tank hasn't had anything in it for quite some time. So I see a tiny little worm. Hopefully there's more little microorganisms in here that they can eat off of. There's a few things on the glass. Not a whole lot though. There goes some food, future food for them. Looks like a midge larva or something. It's a nice big detritus worm right there. That's good. There's another one. They're all hanging out on the wall, I think. I just leave this cup in here, yeah. Being a real pain to get those out of there. Yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on these. Here's an update on the red Venezuelan anus corridors. There are quite a few of them in here. Up in this tank that with nothing in it that had all the live food in. On the shrimp tank, I don't know. I haven't seen any yet. But 
I do have a bunch of bunch of baby rainbow fish in here. Dwarf neon rainbow fish. Took me a while to figure out where they come from, but I forgot that I took the little colony of dwarf neons out. Those dwarf neons were. They were only about yay big, so they don't have to be very big to breed. I think I see a baby Corridorus right back here. This is in the shrimp tank. Right there. So same tank. So now it looks like we got a Corridorus and dwarf neons in this tank. And shrimp. And snails. A little sponge filter barely going. Look at this dirty tank. That one actually has a filter going. What the heck? Whole row of the rack if you want to see it. Need more light on that. All right, now I haven't really fed these guys much. I've just been kind of letting them eat the live organisms in these dirty tanks that haven't had any fish in them. They have all the little microorganisms and they've been doing all right just off of that. I have started sprinkling a little bit of tetracolor tropical granules in with them. But anyways, I hope you guys found this informative, may learn something, hope it helps some people. Or I hope you enjoyed it enough to hit that like button. That would be great. Subscribe if you haven't. Lots of cool stuff coming up on this channel. I appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, peace. Have a great one.